So I'm just curious, uh, this next one, you don't have to answer if you don't wish, but I'm just curious, uh, a few years back, due to circumstances that I won't bring up exactly, you were told by Trans Am officials that you couldn't return for a while until 2017. I'm, I'm just curious, uh, what exactly did you do to keep yourself active? That's a very fair question the way you asked it and I appreciate it. Um, I don't remember the exact year, but I did get, I did get uh, uh, suspended from Trans Am for the remainder of whatever year that I was racing that year uh, for over aggressive driving. And uh, <clears throat> it was pretty, it was pretty tough to deal with. Yeah. Um, I obviously had my story. The other person had their story and what people saw, you know, there was different, there was, you know, I got calls. I, I got, I got really mean calls and I got some really supportive calls. So, yeah. you know, you got to get when something like that happens, you know, you got to get through that first phase of it. And then, uh, you know, uh, it was interesting because um, I had, I'm not sure what year it is, what year, year that was, but I, it turned out I had already some, uh, some commitments to a couple of big races. And I had called, you know, I got a call from those, uh, M oh, who, uh, this was Trans Am, right? I got suspended from, so yeah. I got a call from uh, IMSA. They took it very serious. They sat down with me, they talked to me about it and I raced. So I was able to race. I didn't race as much as I would have liked to. I would have liked to done a couple more Trans Am races, but uh, I got a chance to still do those other races because they had looked at the situation and they said, you know, look, we, you know, they, they, everybody talks to each other in the business. It's a small business, but yeah. I got, I got sat down by anybody I was racing for or any organization I was racing for to uh, make sure that I was kind of like on, on a probationary period while I was suspended. So I had to deal with that mentally. It was hard. Yeah. You know, you talk, you talk to a lot of people, they say, oh, write this or write that or write this. And I just wrote what I thought I should write. You know, I apologize for the situation. Uh, in fact, uh, the person that I got in contact with or uh, the person that I had that trouble with, you know, Amy, it's, it was Amy Ruhlman. Uh, uh, we, I, I love her. I love her family. You know, it was a racing thing. And uh, we've had some great battles since. I mean, I don't know what happens, but I mean, we're like, we always kind of gravitate to each other at least a few times, you know, for the year. And um, yeah. Yeah, I admit. I did some go-karting. I did some go-karting. But I did a lot of, uh, you know, thinking, you know, because uh, it is an aggressive sport. It is an intense sport. And the best can come out of you in this sport and the worst can come out of you in this sport. It's the yin and yang. It is the greatest it is the greatest feeling that you have when things go right. And it could be your lowest low. You know, uh, I've been, I've been, you know, I've won races. I've been in huge accidents where, you know, it might not have been my fault or failure or stuff like that and gotten hurt really bad. So, I mean, it, if, if, you know, if you're not willing to deal with all those things that can throw at, that can be thrown at you in racing, you think life throws stuff at you racing throws a lot of stuff on you and it does it within a within a within a within a millisecond things can change yeah to be honest that question i had to plan for because i wanted to make sure i worded it in a way that uh, it's okay hey hey you know what it, it's i i really appreciate the way you asked it uh, you're a class act for uh you know not sure about asking that question, but you know, it's, it's, it's part of racing. I've had some great, great days and I've, I'm, I'm human. I make mistakes, but you know, you, you, it's all in the recovery. That's a good way to look at it's it. All in the recovery and racing. You got to do it in this in, in life. It's all in recovery. It's who recovers quickest that wins. Good to hear. Good way to look at it. And you're also a class act in my opinion.